Parts JSON of Power App saves your money. Yes, you had it right. Parts JSON of function of Power App can be used to save your money. But how? Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, I will be explaining you how you, the Parts JSON function of Power App can save your money. Okay. So in order to understand this, you need to understand one scenario. That scenario would be like where you need to get the rows from Power Automate to your Power App. Okay, so I have already created a small type of demo for this. So let me just take you to my screen. Yes. So it's like we have some flow that flow is actually extracting some rows from any either in any list from any table or maybe from any action anywhere it is extracting some rows and those rows we need in our power app okay so when we were not having this parse json function in power app what we generally do we used to write one function i have one flow yes that's that one and i have come to add it not sure what happens here let me just do it from here test json okay so this is type of um, flow i have created i have used that flow in another video of mine as well that flow is actually triggering from the power app and it is listing the rows present in any table of the excel later it is storing those values those rows into one array variable and sending those rows from the response connector to the power app okay so we have used the response connector. response connector is actually used to send the response at the place from where the flow has been triggered so our app is triggered from the power app so this response will send response in the power app itself okay so let me just show you how it is working right now in my app let's see, i have created where is my i have already added that json power automate flow okay so i'll use one button uh, get data get data okay and on the on select what i do i use one collection clear collect collection name is let's say c2 and it simply call my debt flow test json dot run process as it is not asking any type of argument so i simply close this one now i add one gallery so yeah this one vertical gallery and add the data source to be c2 okay i'll add one label here and it says I write the name of the screen as response using premium premium connector. connector. Make the size to 30. Yes, that is much better now. Okay, let's try. If I click on this get data, I get some data in my collection okay that that data is actually coming from my power automate i have triggered one power automate flow that flow is actually getting that data from any excel that is present at some location and using the response connector now as this response connector is actually the premium connector the more you will use the more you need to pay for it okay so let's understand if you have thousands of users then you can understand how much it would, it would cost you okay so the workaround of this is we simply first create the copy of this okay we come back and what we do we simply this is the premium character okay we can see from this symbol as well we make the copy of this flow and copy of copy copy test json okay copy test json yes this is my flow name i have not changed the flow name and now in my power app i need to first check 
whether the parse json function is enabled in my power app or not so for that we need to go to the settings in the upcoming features search for json and please ensure that this should be turned on okay so it is already turned on come back and what i do i simply duplicate this screen okay so it comes at the bottom yes here so here i'll write using non-premium how the non-premium i will tell you so here is my flows yes test json first what i do i need to just turn it on because by default whenever you create the copy it would be turned off now i come to the edit in the edit what i do i simply remove this response connector because this is actually making this uh, power automate to be premium type now instead of response i use the respond to power app connector yes i got it here yes respond to power of flow this connector is not any type of you can say the premium connector. this is just the non-premium connector okay so we can use that one and in the response i pass the text type and any name let's say response the value here i can see i am not getting that variable okay because this is type of an array and the response i we need to pass this string so what i do i use the dynamic expression and in the dynamic expression i pass the string i do the type casting string you close this and in the dynamic content go and write the var that variable okay so i have made the array type to be the string type okay close the okay and i save this flow now i come back to my power automate power app actually and here on the power automate i'll add that flow first so it would be like i need to first refresh maybe copy no 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 not this one oh no no not this one we need to just first refresh it so just refresh now search for copy yes the copy test json okay this is the flow we have just created see copy test json okay and now on this button we use not this flow but the different flow what is that flow and now as this response as this flow is sending response in any type of our string so we need one variable we don't need now collection so i use set and let's say variable name to be v2 and i call that flow so copy copy to json dot run okay so when it get called it would give me some response into the v2 variable okay so let's check get data so I get some data into V2 variable. Let, let I'm just showing you how the data is actually looks like. Just expand this label and V2. V2 is my name of my variable. Okay. Okay. So actually, I in V2 I haven't got the response because I had to pass the response yes this one now do it again so here you can see i got that data see i got that data this is actually this keep the json format string okay now we can use this json format string using the parse json function so this table i don't need this to be linked with the collection on the item what i do use i use parse json in the parse just i need to pass the variable name so variable name is my v2 and as it says is the of data type as untyped objects so i enclose it into the table so that my system would know that this is actually the table yeah. so i get some some thing is there but it is not showing anything if i just select complete all i can see 
it is saying the untapped use value something like that okay so what i do in the objects i go here expand this one and on the dot dot value value is actually corresponding to the particular row dot i need to check the name so if i see my column name is actually the title and description okay so i'll pass the same here only i pass the dot title i need to pass it manually and it is of it is actually case sensitive okay so you need to write manually the exact the column name and it is of type text so we pass text so here you can see i start getting some values now my second column name is let's say description no actually i'm uh, i'll use discount okay so i'm see i can see that discount is actually coming in type of a text value double quotes is there so i use that only the next one i use this i don't got value dot discount only problem is it would not give me the suggestion okay so you need to match manually so here you can see without using the premium connector we get we are also getting the same data okay and if i come to my flows i can see this uh, copy test json is actually non-premium and if i show you the test json is actually premium type okay so that is how you can actually save your money using the parse json function okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching this video and if you have doubt how this parse json is actually saving your money you can just write to me i will explain you on any any type of personal medium okay so thank you everyone thank you